hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m divided by m plus m is equals to 2 times of m and here we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that which of these roots are a solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous roots so uh, please watch this video at the end and at the end i can also explain the term extraneous roots okay so uh, here we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods uh, but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in the first method uh, we uh, you see here we have the denominator terms are m plus m so it will be written as m divided by 2 times of m and in the right hand side we have 2m if you see here uh, in the denominator of this term is 1 so here we cross multiply the terms we multiply 1 with this m and we multiply 2 with this 2m so after cross multiplication of the terms we will get here m multiplied by 1 is equals to 2m is multiplied by 2m so here we will get m times of 1 is equals to m and 2m multiplied by 2m equals to 2 times of 2 becomes 4m multiplied by m equals to m square and now here in the next step we will just move this m to the right hand side and it will be written as this is 4 times of m squared this is plus m and it will becomes minus m and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these terms involve m and uh, we just take common m from here after taking common m we get here 4 times of m minus 1 is equals to 0 and now uh, in the next step we divide uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m is equals to 0 and the second case is we write 4m minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is the our first root of the given equation so uh, in order to find the second root we need to move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes 4m is equals to plus 1 so for the values of m we divide both of the sides by 4 so when we divide by 4 it will becomes 4m divided by 4 equals to 1 over 4 so this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we easily get the value of m is equals to 1 divided by 4. So this is the second root of the given equation. And now here uh, in the next step we need to verify both of these roots and we check that uh, which of these roots are satisfied our given question statement or which of these are uh, extraneous roots. So for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is m divided by m plus m is equals to 2 times of m so here in this side we verify the root m equals to 0 and in this side we verify the root m is equals to 1 over 4 so here first uh, we need uh, to verify m is equals to 0 here so when we put m equals to 0 on both of the sides it will be written as 0 divided by 0 plus 0 is equals to 2 times of 0 and here we will get 0 divided by 0 plus 0 becomes 0 and this is 2 times of 0 is equals to 0 so uh, here uh, you very well uh, know about the meaning of 0 over 0 so this is the 0 over 0 form is also called the indeterminate indeterminate form okay this is the indeterminate form so uh, in other words indeterminate form is also called the undefined form okay it is also called undefined form okay so if the left hand side is undefined form 
so this means that both of the sides are not equal when we choose m is equals to 0. So m equals to 0 uh, it be the only extraneous root of the given equation. So m equals to 0 is not the solution and it is the extraneous root. So uh, I, I can just also explain the term extraneous root. So uh, extraneous root are uh, the roots which is not satisfied our given question statement is called the extraneous root and the roots which is satisfied over given question statement is called the solution of the given equation. So in the same pattern uh, we need to verify uh, the second root that is m is equals to 1 over 4. So when we verify m equals to 1 over 4 we will substitute this value on both of the sides and uh, it will be written as 1 divided by 4 and it is divided by 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 equals to 2 times of 1 divided by 4. Here we can just substitute uh, m equals to 1 over 4 on both of the sides of this equation. And now here uh, you see that we need to take the LCM in the denominator term then it will become 1 over 4 divided by the LCM will be 4 and uh, after simplification we get 1 plus 1 over 4 equals to here we cancel this term this will be cancelled by each other two times of 2 is 4 and we get here 1 divided by 2 and here this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we get here in the numerator we get 1 and in the denominator we get here 1 plus 1 is 2 so we get here 1 over 2 is equals to 1 over 2 so this means that the value of m is equals to 1 over 4 is satisfied over given question statement so m equals to 4 be the only solution of the given equation and m equals to 0 be the extraneous root. And now uh, here we again solve this problem for second method. And in second method we need to copy down given question statement here. So the given question statement is m divided by m plus m is equals to 2 times of m. So uh, in the second method we need to focus in the denominator terms and we have this is uh, m divided by m plus m becomes here 2m equals to 2 times of m. So here we need to cancel these terms and after cancellation of these terms we will get here 1 over 2 is equals to 2 times of m. And we because we find the value of m so that we move this 2 in the left hand side and it will becomes 1 over 4 is equals to m. So this is the uh, root of the given equation. This is the solution of the given equation which is uh, always we verify uh, into the first method. So this is the final conclusion in the second method. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.